Kingdom Pattern A clear conscience Conscience An inner feeling or voice, viewed as acting as a guide to the rightness or wrongness of one's behavior. We all need a clear conscience in order to live in harmony with God and men. A conscience that is wholesome does differentiate between good and evil, and it is saddened by any form of wrongdoing. We humans have a God-given ability to know ourselves, and make moral judgments. Our conscience operates as an internal witness-bearer or judge, and can examine our actions, attitudes, and choices. Our conscience may guide us toward making a good decision, and it may warn us against a bad one as well. After salvation, faith in Jesus Christ makes a clear conscience before God possible, and this sensitivity to discern between good and evil. A good conscience should prompt you to take responsibility for your behaviors, and ask for forgiveness when you have done wrong. Benefits of a clear conscience 1. Ability to overcome temptation A clear conscience helps to live honorably, and avoid sin and its destructive consequences. Psalm 32 verse 5 I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. 2. Readiness to make wise choices. Upholding a clear conscience propels you to make wise choices and avoid hiding your sins. When an individual habitually hides sins, that person will be drawn into deeper and deeper bondage. A debased conscience is a tool that Satan uses to lead a person into more sin. 1 Timothy 1 verse 18 to 19. This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare, holding faith, and a good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck. 3. Courage to be a witness of Jesus Christ. An individual with unconfessed sin will be engulfed with guilt, and will be unable to share the faith. 1 Peter 3 verse 15 to 16. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear, having a good conscience, that, whereas they speak evil of you, as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. 4. A Solid Foundation A clear conscience is an important component of a Christian life of faith, and we have to put in efforts, humility, and determination to maintain a clear conscience. 1 Timothy 1 verse 5 to 6. Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart, and of a good conscience, and of faith unfeigned, from which some having swerved have turned aside unto vain jangling. Proverbs 28 verse 13. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsake them shall have mercy. Godly fear will influence our conscience. Godly fear causes us to make decisions that are influenced by the word of God, and not our personal desires. A sincere fear of displeasing our Heavenly Father is important for every Christian, and this reverential fear will cause us to seek guidance from the Word of God when we have decisions to make. Nehemiah 5 verse 15 But the former governors that had been before me were chargeable unto the people, and had taken of them bread and wine, beside forty shekels of silver, yet, yeah, even their servants bear rule over the people, but so did not I, because of the fear of God. Cultivate sensitivity to the internal whispers of the Holy Spirit. We should cultivate the awareness of the very small quiet impressions from the Holy Spirit within our thoughts, and as we do this we nurture the growth of our sensitivity to the whispers of the Holy Spirit. We can accomplish this by setting aside time daily to read and study the scriptures. In addition we should pray asking God to help us be more sensitive and willing to follow His ways. This will help us know and obey the written word of God which is important for keeping our conscience clear. A clean conscience in the sight of God is a great blessing. As followers of Jesus Christ, our conscience should not be like that of those whose conscience is hardened, 
and seared as with a branding iron leaving it scarred, and insensitive to the extent that it no longer sends out warnings, protests, or feelings of guilt over wrongdoing. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 to 2. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits, and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Our conscience tells us that we have done wrong by giving feelings of guilt, and when we repent as a result of such feelings, even the worst of sins may be forgiven. Psalm 86 verse 5. For thou, Lord, art good, and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. What to do if your conscience continues to punish for past sins? In situation where the conscience is extremely punitive, whipping a sinner with guilt long after such feelings has caused repentance. In such cases, the individual should reassure the self-condemning conscience that God is greater than all human feelings, and has forgiven the genuinely confessed sin, and should believe in and accept God's love and forgiveness. 1 John 3 verse 19 to 20. And hereby we know that we are of the truth, and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart, and knoweth all things. We should not be critical of others, conscience is an internal judge of ourselves, and not as a license to judge others. We should not make issue of personal matters of conscience, but look for ways to promote love and unity, and build one another up. Romans 14 verse 19. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace, and things wherewith one may edify another. A cleansed and clear conscience brings inner peace, calmness, and profound joy. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 11. And such were some of you, but yet are washed, but yet are sanctified, but yet are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus, and by the Spirit of our God. Just like a compass that guides the pilgrim, your conscience that is cleansed and subjected to the Word of God will help you to make decisions that please God. This is a confident way to keep yourself in your Heavenly Father's love. Therefore we should maintain a good conscience as we serve God. The Good News The Gospel in a Nutshell Human inherited sin and sinful nature as a result of the sinful disobedience of the first human, Adam and Eve, and the punishment for sin is death, i.e. separation from God, the source of life, Romans 3.23, we cannot earn our salvation, for this reason Jesus Christ came into the world fully God and fully man. He perfectly obeyed God's law and perfectly fulfilled God's will. He died in our place and as our substitute, paying for our sins. He rose from the dead on the third day and ascended into heaven. He will one day return to the earth to establish his kingdom. If you truly repent from evil ways, believe and accept Jesus Christ in your heart as Lord and Savior. You will be saved from judgment and spend eternity with God. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. Be the first to know when new video is published. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell beside the subscribe button to be notified of new releases. Kingdom Pattern at www.youtube.com Crossway Christian Ministries 2 at gmail.com This is Kingdom Pattern, a ministry of Crossway Christian Ministries.